Alright guys, so we're back and about to unbox another Ubiquity product because I love them so much. I bought the 24 PoE Pro Gen 2 Switch. It has the PoE plus 8 PoE plus plus and then 16 PoE plus ports and two 10 gig SFP plus. Well, SFP Plus is 10 gig, so SFP Plus. Alright, let's see here. Ooh, double unboxing. The double unboxing. Let's see the new switch. I'm excited. Whoops. Let's see. Uh, make sure I want to do it. Yep. I guess I could just go like this. Goodies. Uh, as before with all the other switches and stuff, the mounting hardware comes in here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh man. Yeah. I trimmed my nails and I did them too short, so there we go. Hurts. <laughs> Let me get an accident. Power plug. Beautiful mounting hardware. And feet, depending on what you're going to do with it. You can put it on the table or whatever. Uh, these are for the rack ears. Got the rack ears. We got the little product manual in here, and that's about it. That's all we need. Rocking and rolling. Let's get to the awesome possum part now. Let's do this. Let's rock and roll. Ooh, that's a It's a big one, okay. Sometimes I've seen them with smaller ones. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, got caught in the corner here. I sprained this hand right here. It hurts when I close it in certain ways, but it's getting better, so I'm able to hold this whole switch with one hand, so in a certain way. That is awesome. We got the connector for the PSU that looks like this, but with no ports on the back front for the um, redundant power. We got the power in, ECM. So let's see here. What do we got? So the PoE plus pluses are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. And then all the rest from here on out are all PoE plus. 10 gig SFP plus ports, rock and reset switch, the beautiful swing. Okay, so it looks like they took from the UDM Pro. They don't have the black cover anymore. They have a clear cover on this. Cool beans. And there you go. This is the switch. Let's go power it on. Let's see how uh, loud it is. I'm definitely interested for that. I mean... They're supposed to be quiet. Some people said they're loud. Some people said that they're supposed to be they're supposed to be silent. Some people say they're not loud at all. I'll be the judge. Everybody should be their own judge, but I'm gonna do it on the camera and tell you what I think. So let's see. Let's call it right. Yep, what happens when your daughter's toys are all over, but you know what? That's fine. Alright. It's plugged in. Okay, it's doing its thing. Let's see if you can touch it without this thing, huh? Oh. 
I don't hear anything. Obviously, it's not under load, too. When it's under load, it'll definitely be different, but yeah. I'm excited. Probably have to dock this or put it in a little bit. So far, it's, I don't hear any sound. This is awesome. I'm excited. Awesome, awesome. So this will last me for a long, long time. A long, long time. Oh, there it goes. Now I can hear it. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Let it do its thing. It's doing its little spin around here. Okay, here we go. So this is what it... I mean, I can barely hear it from here. I mean, I can hear it, but barely. I have to think about it. You know, like, stop. Okay, don't move. Don't be moved. Don't talk. Like that. Now, if I go here, I can hear it a little bit. I mean, it's not crazy. But it's not under load either, so we'll have to see about that. But it looks awesome. Let's see the touch screen here. Oh, come on, this little sticker. I should have just took it off while we had it. There you go. All right, so ports, Ethernet ports, one of 24, 25, to 26. So let's see here. Ethernet ports 1 through 24, 25 through 26. Oh, okay, gotcha. 25 through 26. So these are the 10 gig, and these are the, so it has a, a button here if you just want to see the uptime of uh, 25. Oh, down. Okay, so you can see what it is up or down. So let's go back to the switches again. This one down. So, okay, so you can just see basically what each one of these switches are doing. And then you can go to the other, other switches. Okay. So, hit the switches, 24, you can see you want 12, 1 through 12, or 13 through 24. You can either go to, so if I click that again, to go to the side, click this one. Here, oh, here you go, so it breaks them down even further, 1 through 4, 5 through 6, 9 through 12. I'm sorry, I was getting used to it, so if you go here, same thing, you click there. Then it has the 4, so you can click 1, okay, so you can click, okay, so you can basically... Look at them as a whole group and down until you get to the exact um, Ethernet that you want to look at the information about. So that's pretty cool. So now, if we go to statistics, that's throughput, uplink, okay, import, okay, cool. Uh, CPU memory 63% of the CPU is doing something right now. I don't know what it's doing. Maybe because it's looking for stuff or looking to be adopted, maybe. Maybe that's why. 33% memory, interesting. 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 87 degrees, I mean 30 degrees Celsius, of course, 80, uh, 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, real time wattage, so it's out of the 400 watts, zero and zero, so rocking and rolling. This is a can maximum 400 watts. Uh, so let's see, last seven days. Oh, that's cool. So real time, you can look at the real time wattage on it. Really quick at a glance. I mean, you can do it for the interface too, but sometimes it's just, I like the touch screen. I know you don't need it. It's a gimmick. Well, that's cool, and I think it's cool. So, I don't know how rock and rolling. So, last seven days, you can look at the last seven days on it of power usage. Last 30 days of power usage. Uh, that's about it there. So, settings. I had to turn mine to, I wanted the screen to last for a while, so I turned it to 35. Uh, fan is auto right. Okay, let's see. This will be max right here. I'll set it to max. Oh. I mean, it's loud, but it's not that loud, dude. There's, this is not that loud. That's maximum. Wait, let's go back here. Oh, I don't know. The fan's not bad. So then it has. Okay, so it shows POE. Just shows you statistics, like. This means it's running PUE on this light here. This light means the link speed is uh, does a gig, 10 or 100 down. So you'll see depending on what this light is on the side. This light is the PUE light and off. So if it's off, it's uh, just it's either 
not doing P it's just not doing PUE. That's what it is. If it's amber, it's doing PUE. Um, or there's nothing in it, obviously, you know, if there's nothing in it, it's not doing anything. Um, but these are auto sensing too. So you can plug non PUE stuff in here and it will still work. So, you know, so it's, that's why I got the bigger one too, just in case. This one does up and down, one gig and 10 gig, SFP plus 20. Okay, so this is the SFP plus ports right here. And that'll show you the links on those. So that'll show you um, white is 10 gig and green is uh, one gig. And then that's just the brightness again. So now information, UD, uh, IP address, days up, hours, minutes, uh, the serial numbers, all that. Um, yep, PUE versions. Yep, so that's it. So yeah, and this will probably change too. I don't know if this is updated with the newest stuff. So this might change. I don't know. I haven't put one of these, so I'm excited. So, but yeah, hey, I hope you guys are all having a rock and rolling day. Hope everybody's doing well with their families. Love y'all. Peace out. Like, comment, and please subscribe for more content. I do it. I mean, I'm implementing these things. I'm not giving them for free. I pay full price for this sucker. So, rocking and rolling. Here we go. Peace out, guys.